What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Speedy. Today for you guys I'm going to make of corned beef and cabbage. But anywho with friends. And by the way guys if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I promise. So guys, first thing we want to do is cut our cabbage into thin slices. We so I did pretty much 95% of the small cabbage. So that's, I just wanted to measure it for you guys. That's about four cups of um, chopped up cabbage. Okay, I'm going to wash my cabbage before I season it. Run this through the water. So as I'm waiting for the water to drip away from my cabbage, I'm going to go ahead and open up my corned beef. Now you can use this little tool right here on the side, or you can just use the can opener and open it from the top. I like to take the wrappers off, just makes it a little easier. Alright, we'll just put this aside. Guys, I love cabbage, but now that I'm a diabetic, I love it even more because I use cabbage to replace rice a lot of times. I was in Lowe's this morning getting stuff for my lawn, and I saw they sell this, which is surprising. Now, my local Walmart has it, but they always sell out, and you have to get it online, and usually I get it from Amazon because it's cheaper, but I'll put a link in the description, but this is bacon grease. We're going to add some to my cabbage flavor is going to be amazing now of course if you have your own bacon grease like from when you make bacon and you store the grease that's fine that's even better but i have like four to five strips of bacon a week i don't produce enough to to store it anymore and plus i make it on my griddle in my garage so that's a whole nother story but if you don't have the grease get this all right so i'm just going to take some just start mixing. It's going to take a couple seconds, probably 45 seconds of mixing, and then we'll add the rest of our seasonings. So first thing I'm going to add is some smoked paprika. Gives it a great flavor, good color too. And then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. But I am going to add some of this Scotch Bonnet hot sauce. I've never had this one before, but it smells real good. And I'm going to add some to the corned beef later on as well. So I'm going to give that a final mix. I'm going to cut up a white onion. I'm going to put half with the cabbage and the other half with the corned beef. And the reason why I do it that way is because I want to make sure all my cabbage is seasoned perfectly. The onions, you know, will adopt the flavor as it's cooking with, you know, the cabbage. But you could have done it all together. Finally, of course, this is not traditional on this day, but we're going to make plantains with my meal. That's some pink salt. And we do that to both sides. All right, let's get it on. Guys, I'm going to put it on sear and saute. And let that go for five minutes. And then we'll put our cabbage in. But don't worry, we're not going to make it all on sear and saute. Although we can with this machine, we're going to have some fun. Stay tuned. And while that's going, I'm going to put some water into this bowl with my corned beef. And then I'm going to mash it up with a fork and then add my onions to it so it's ready to go when I'm ready to add it. I'm going to add some scotch bonnet to this and continue mixing. All right, five minutes have passed. Let's get this in here, our cabbage. I'm going to let it sit like that for about three minutes. 
All right, guys, four minutes have passed. Go ahead and give it a taste and see what else it may need. I'm going to add some salt now at this point. It smells so good, guys. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn the speedy off for temporarily. Because this is how I want my cabbage. It's good to go. I'm ready to add my corned beef. Alright guys, I'm going to add my corned beef to the top. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with corned beef in the can, it's pretty much cooked. You're just really warming this up. So, in other words, if you are super hungry, you can eat it out the can. You sure can. good mix and finally to my corned beef I am going to add some frozen sweet peas frozen that should be enough all right all right let's close the lid all right guys let's get this on I'm going to put it down to broil that's locked at 450. I'm just gonna hit. Uh, I think I'll do eight minutes, four minutes, four minutes aside on the plantains. I think we should be good. I found some leftover carrots in my refrigerator. I'm gonna put these in the microwave and add it when it's done. This could be you guys. So it was eight minutes. I keep forgetting. It's not halfway. It's eight minutes, but you. Broil it for six minutes and then flip it at with two minutes left. My bad. But this could be you. You see it. And guys, I don't know if you can see it, but the residual heat from me air frying it or broiling it, whatever have you. Look. So now we are done. I'm ready to plate it up. And have a bite. Let's get the thumbnail going. This could be you guys. I'm ready to eat. Paper towel time. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my videos even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. It means it's time to eat. But first, we have to take a sip of this Heineken Silver. You first. Fresh from the freezer, guys. Ice cold. Mm. <sighs> Nothing like cold beer. Anywho, let's dig in. Guys, this could be you. You got it? Fantastic. So much flavors. So much flavor. Italian seasoning, the bacon grease, all that. You got it? Mmm. It's just too good. Too good. And by the way, guys, I got my corned beef in the can from Aldi. It's reasonably priced there. I think it's like three dollars and twenty-five cents. You know, back in the days, not even back in the day, like, like in the millennium, millennium corned beef in the can was like a dollar fifty, and now some places it's like five dollars, depending on what brand you get. So that's why I told you about all these. Mm, just too good. That scotch bonnet pepper sauce gave it just the right amount of heat. Because I wouldn't be able to handle regular scotch bonnet. You know, now the real Jamaicans, fresh from yard, they put the scotch bonnet in the corned beef. Slice it up. 
My mom do that. That's too hot. I can handle it, but it's it's too much. It's just too good. Alright, I'm gonna finish the rest of this and we'll close out. Another super quick, easy, fantastic tasting meal made in my ninja speedy. Of course, I'll leave everything I did in the description so you can follow along. But please try this out for you and your family. It's an inexpensive dinner or lunch even um, that could feed many people. Four or five even. Or at least three greedy people for sure. <laughs> but definitely try it out if you haven't before. You will love it. Trust me. And of course you can pair it with some rice. You can add some potatoes with it, like I said before. You know, add whatever you need to add to it. Make it make it your style. But this is the basics right there. And of course, you don't have to add any hot pepper to it or anything like that. You could just add like black pepper. That's fine. But definitely try it out. And if you do, come back here and tell me how you liked it. All right. And I'll leave in the description the uh, baking grease. What's it called? Baking up. Amazon sells it. Apparently Lowe sells it now, which is good. Walmart sells it, but my Walmart is always out of stock, and then I have to order it online. So I usually just order it from Amazon, but link will be in the description. And um, what else I was going to say? The And also, of course, I'll leave a link to the Ninja Speedy because as you can see, it's an awesome machine. For those of you new to this machine, it does a lot of things, more than what I've done today. Click that link. I urge you to click that link, see all of what it does. And on top of that for you guys, especially you guys, I am going to pin to the top of the comment. It should be the first comment you see, a link to my Ninja Speedy playlist with over 40 videos specifically designed for this machine that you can check out. This is yet another one. But this one is just for fun. I hope you guys took from it, because maybe you don't eat canned corned beef, but I hope you saw some technique in this cook that you could adapt to something that you were thinking about cooking, whatever have you. There's something to grab from this video, even if you don't eat canned corned beef, is what I'm trying to say. But that's all I got. I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of my day. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug, and we out.